at Haas Memphis Stadium. Friday Night Football presented by the All-State Sugar Bowl. John Curtis, Edna Carr. Harry get the toss of the coin right here. Uh, our young men were excited about playing this ball game. First series, we had a huge stop here on fourth and one. We get the ball turned over on downs. Now, five plays later, we're going to get a handoff to Jason Gabriel. Gabriel's going to find running room, break some tackles. He punches in for the touchdown. We go up seven to nothing. Second, second quarter. quarter. There you go. Dagan Bruno on the keeper. Bruno's going to find after he uh, has that, fakes the handoff. Nice 14 yard gain for the first down. Later in the fourth, uh, fourth and three to 21, Bruno was going to pump fake here and he's going to go deep. He's going to find Xavier Brown for the touchdown. Excellent catch by Brown. Went up high to get it. 14 nothing Curtis. Next possession. Give the ball to Gabriel again. He's going to rip off 12 yards. Nice cut. Physical run. I'm sorry, that's not Gabriel. Pardon me, Coach. Actually, that's Prout. That's Prout. My Marlon apologies. Prout. Yep, I that apologize is Prout. to Marlon. He is an excellent back. Then Next play, Kaheem Smith. Yep. 50 yards, split the middle. We take an early 21 to nothing lead. Now we go into the third quarter. Up 21 nothing. 21 zip. Bruno on the play fake. He's going to end up. Well, I thought we were. We must have jumped no, back. No, no, it's okay. No, no, no. This is you coming in. For oh, coming in. There right, we go. go. Now I got you. I got lost. 32-yard touchdown throw to an excellent receiver and our punter. Tyler Mitchell. Tyler Mitchell. 27 now, nothing 27 in the third. Back on offense. Curtis facing it at midfield. Deja vu. Bruno back to throw. Rolls right. He's going to find Mitchell. Mitchell broke the tackle, got down the sideline. He did an excellent job for us, both offensively and in the kicking game. Now, same score in the fourth. Gabriel finds a nice hole, splits it, turns on the afterburners, outruns the secondary. He gets it in the end zone. 57 yards later, we go up 34 to nothing at that point. Then Dejon Smith would score for Carr but there was only 5.08 left in the game. This is an excellent car team, Coach. It They're going to be a big factor in the playoffs. It is, there's no question about that, and, and they are a good football team. We played well tonight, obviously, but uh, Bryce Brown will have those young men ready to play for the playoffs, and, and you know, Ed, that's what it's all about at this point. Get your team geared up for the playoffs. 41-7, John Curtis over Carr at Haas Memphis Stadium tonight. And I think one of your best performances in a long, long time. I would put it up there with the Catholic State Championship game over a while back. That's no question about that. And, and, and because we had such a complete game, the kicking game was so important tonight. Johnny did a great job of getting those guys geared in on the kickoff. They had returned kickoffs for uh, touchdowns in every game that we had on tape. With more at Haas the Stadium, Jared Paul Joseph. Patriots head coach JT Curtis now has 622 victories on the field, breaking the record for most high school football head coach wins in the United States. During the week, a report came out questioning how many valid wins coach Curtis has, but instead the Patriots enter Friday night as a focused squad. Rather than listening to the outside noise, John Curtis put all its eyes and ears on Edna Carr, a team who beat the Patriots 38 to 6 during the 2022 regular season finale and while facing a team averaging more than 36 points per game, John Curtis holds the Cougars to only one touchdown and route to their fourth straight win to end the regular season. I think it was a quiet focus. I think they knew, you know, when it all when it when it broke about whatever, blah blah blah. You know, they were like, we know Coach JT, we know Willie, we know Coach Jerry. None of that matters. We're going to lock in and focus on what we can control because all the external stuff, it is what it is, you know? So I, there was a quiet focus all week and, and I thought, we, you know, we played exceptional tonight. JT's done this for a long time and he's my dad. And, you know, sometimes being on the inner circle, 
you feel a little bit more hard, you know, harshness to the family. But his focus is always on the kids. And I know that sounds crazy, and it's been said over and over and again, over again. But his focus is truly on the kids, and he's going to do what's right by them. And you know, we don't need a validation. He doesn't need a validation from anyone. And what what he's done throughout his course of his 54 years, 55 years of coaching, and the time that he spent, it's validity in itself. So we're going to celebrate with him tonight, for a very short period of time, and we're going to get ready and turn this thing around on Sunday when we find out who we play in the playoffs. The Patriots end the regular season seven and two, but finishing with only seven wins in 2023 is not John Curtis's goal. As the Patriots gear up, hoping to earn their way to a five-game slate and another trip to the dome. Now we got five more to go. For your Friday night football, Ed Coach, back to you too.